Hey there, and welcome to this tutorial about uh, render props in React.js. So maybe you have seen um, this pattern before, right? A component, but instead of passing, how do you say, normal props, like a string or an object, you pass a function, an arrow function, with a return statement that return some JSX and you think that shouldn't the template be inside this component? How does this even work? It looks like magic, right? It's kind of confusing because you just want to uh, output the component here, pass it some data and the component should do the rendering. So we will totally demystify this and explain exactly how they work and when you should use them because it's a very powerful tool to know when working with React. So I'll close this one and I, I have prepared a simple component here, right? Um, it's <laughs> a simple counter with one button and one span. And we're using hooks here, so we initialize it with zero. And when we click the button, we call this function and it calls the set count function with the current count plus one. And then we output the count in the span. Okay. And when we check our root component here, we just output the counter. So we have a case here. Let's say that this counter. Uh, component is needed like all over the web play, uh, website. Maybe when adding something to the shopping cart um, or yeah, adding clothes to the shopping cart, adding uh, I don't know, uh, working inside the shopping cart or uh, incrementing I don't know for the yeah, you name it. Let's say we have many cases, but they shouldn't always look like this an ugly button and the amount just to the right. Sometimes we don't even want the button. Maybe we want uh, an image to click and the amount to be above or down under or something, right? So we could do it by saying, hey, we you can pass some props. If we pass an image, I will render an image instead and you can specify the positioning uh, but it's still dynamic, but it's not super dynamic, so the user has full control over it, right? And that is what we can achieve with render props. So if we head back to our component here, we, usually we can pass a property here, um, and then we can output this here, right? Um, props.name and then we have Herman here but instead of doing that we, we will pass a function okay and usually they're called render something but we they can be called whatever we want and for this sake our, we will call it our render function okay so what happens if we just do a simple one here. Uh, instead of a string or something, we will pass an arrow function that doesn't accept any properties. And it will return, let's say, just a simple JSX here, like um, hello worlds, like that. So, so now we have added a prop and it's a function that returns JSX. So how can we work with this inside our counter? Well, what happens if we output it here? So we take our props and the props name was our render function. Uh, sorry, like here. So props dot our render function and we execute it as well. Boom. So what happens when we execute it? As you know, we get what's inside the return and it's some JSX. And this equals the JSX here. So 
Now you might think, well, it's easy to add something under, above, but how can we control the actual button with all the logic of incrementing and this amount? Well, if we look at the count here that we output, what happens if we, or even what happens if we pass something here, like yo, yo, yo? We don't break anything and we don't accept it here as an argument. But what happens if we accept an argument? We can call it arg. And then we output the arg. Do you see the relationship now? This is kind of back and forward, um, but we call this function that is sent to us and we pass in something that we decide in here. Yo, yo, yo. And that yo, 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 we have access to it as because our function here accepts something. So now, instead of passing yo, 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 let's get rid of this count. And we pass the count here. So we pass the state, right? And now we output, we get the state here and we output the state here. You see, everything works just like before. And now we have gotten a little bit nicer output before it was just to the right of the button. Now it's here. But still, this is not enough, right? Because whatever we <laughs> create inside here will be just down below the button. So... Instead of passing just one argument, the count, what happens if we also pass the set count? So I will remove this button as well. Remove the function as well. Now we only have a state and I will pass this to the, the state or the count and then the set state or set count, I don't know. We so we pass these two, right? So we say, hey, I will render whatever you uh, return there. I will just render it and also I will provide you the state and the set state function. So here, instead of calling it arg, we can call it state and set state, right? It doesn't need to be called count and set count. Here we can define the names ourselves. So this one was simple. We just outputted it, and now we don't. We want, uh, let's say, the button down below, and not even a button. Um, I don't have an image to show, but we can have a span that says "click me," and now nothing happens, right? Let's use this set state. So we add an on click, and what should we do? We should uh, use set state. And just like before, what should we set the state to? Well, the state plus one. So now, what happens if we click? Everything works. And now we have full control to style, position them do some extra calculations above if we want. I mean, we have full control to style them exactly how we want. And if we take a look at our counter again, the only thing we do, <laughs> except from these divs here, is, hey, I will output whatever you pass to me, and here you get the count and also the set count, do whatever you want. So they will still uh, increment this state, of course, um yeah so hopefully you have understood the power of render props and it's i mean when you know it the, it opens up so many more stuff you can do in uh, react and uh, you see the dynamic components you now can build instead of passing a huge amount of props to yeah
to be able to style them differently. So yeah, thanks you, <laughs> thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.